So I was laying here and a topic of discussion came up. Okay? Someone, well, several, several people have written me and something that seems to consistently come up is, Mistress, can I be your slave? May I be your slave? Oh, Mistress, Mistress, I love you so much. I just need to be your slave. Here's what's the problem with that. You're topping from the bottom. Period. That's not okay. I don't know you. I don't care for you. Even if I did know you and we've done a session, I am a pro-dom. That's number one. Several pro doms out there already know what we want. And what we don't want is a bunch of subs or potential slaves running about telling us that we have to consider you. No, that's not how it works. You do not tell me to consider you. What? Listen, honey. This is what you're going to do. You're going to book a session. You're going to visit. We're going to play. We're going to have a very good scene. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. Within the boundaries and limits of whatever your kink is. I'll try to respect that. Um, I, I do not cross limits. Okay, we're going to have fun. Here's the thing. As soon as we're done, you're going to leave. Now, if you choose to keep coming back, if you choose that you want to show me full support, you want to be a regular, dedicated, a good boy, then yes, yes, then I'll notice you. I, I'm not going to speak for every mistress out there. I'm not going to speak for every pro-dom, dom. No, that's not my job. But I will say the common trend I have noticed amongst doms that come through my path, across my path that I've met over the years. Yeah, yeah, we don't like that topping from the bottom shit. And we don't like randoms going into our email inboxes telling us, oh, you need me because I am the best slave you will ever have. <sighs> false. As stupidos. False. You're not unique. So many have already hit the inbox. Do something different. Show up. <laughs> Show up for your session, do your session, be good at it, let's enjoy it, and keep coming back. You keep coming back, trust me, you're going to make yourself noticed. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you keep showing up, and you keep doing sessions with the same particular mistress that you were trying to impress in the first place, do something nice. Come by, I don't know, aside from the tribute, flowers. I've seen that happen. I've seen someone actually bring a bouquet of flowers, and guess what? I was happy for her. I was envious even. You know? Like, oh, why can't I get that? And then guess what? I ended up getting someone who brought me <laughs> a big tray of seafood. I was like, you know what? I like you. And he was like, yeah? I was like, yeah. I like you. And I, I, I did. I extended the this, this session, um, I think, 15 minutes more than it should have been. I will spend time with those who put an effort and as time goes by depending on who I enjoy that caters to me yes yes we can discuss it I'm not saying that that's your in no what I am saying is if you continue to impress a lady same way as courtship in the vanilla world honey same way, then she will notice you. You can't just walk up to a lady, I don't know, whether you work as a teacher, plumber, I don't know, campus, the mall, I don't care, engineer, lawyer, you cannot be, you don't go up 
to a lady and say, Hey, we're going to date now. You're mine. So consider me, because I said so. There, I said it. No, that's not how it works. You say, hello, my name is such and such. Um, you know what? I like that you've been doing the great work at the office space. You know, I work at such and such department. And hey, hopefully bump into you tomorrow. And hopefully, you know, whatever you need, let me know. I'll help you out with whatever, whatever project you're doing. And see you later, okay? And she's going to be like, okay. And then the next day... You do it again. You drop by, help her with whatever paperwork she has, and you just keep showing up. You just keep showing up, and she's going to realize, like, he's serious. He's actually visiting. He's actually paying attention, and he's doing stuff that actually makes my life better. Period. If you cannot make a lady's life better, whether it be vanilla or a fetish, then why are you there? <laughs> you think you're going to just tell her? Does she need you? No. Prove it. Sorry. I know it might sound childish to a lot. And you want to be acknowledged for who you really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prove it. That's, I'm going to tell you a lot of women. That's, that's just how it works. So, if you're going to visit a pro dom. And you want to earn being her slave. Prove it. Prove it. Seriously. That extra gift. That, that tribute. Consistency. Prove it. Let her see that you're serious. Don't just bombard her email. No. That don't do that shit. Sorry. Truthfully. I mean... If it doesn't work for her, move along. There will be another pro dom, lifestyle mistress, who will acknowledge your effort. They will find some use for you. Your job is to make their life easier. Because we go through a lot of stress. And we have to balance a lot of things. Prove yourself. Make an effort. Be consistent with that effort. Through and through, whether she makes you her slave and collars you or not, show up. Do good. Be better. That's what I would want. I think that's what anyone wants. Alright, talk to you later.